going on guys? I'm here with my brother Aaron over here at Boat for iCast 2021. And today we're gonna look at the brand new Boat Lono and the new pedal drive system. So Aaron, if you would, walk us through this boat, man. Thanks for having us. Sounds good, thank yeah. you. Guys, I wanna show you the new Lono Apex pedal drive system, which has a integrated pedal prop drive. It's a 10 to one gear ratio. Um, it has a window in the top, so when you can when you when you're looking to look in the center, you can actually see the window and see your prop and see if you have any weeds. Oh, that's in there. very nice. Yeah. But the unit comes in and out pretty easily. Just three uh, lock knobs. We also have a clear port, so when you're not using the pedal drive, you can put this in place and have a solid clear port to it. Nice. So you can go and lift it up, do your sight fishing, do your sight fish, fishing, you however doing. you want to do, or just even use it as a as a um, as a uh, stand up paddleboard. Okay. So, because this is really a hybrid system, it's it's mm. kind of like a three in one now. So, okay. we Very have cool. kayak, stand up paddleboard, and now pedal drive. Right. Kayak. Before we get too far uh, to the boat, um, about how much does this all weigh? You know, once you're, before you get it inflated and all that kind of stuff without the pedal drive. So, without pedal sitting? drive, we're sitting around 75 pounds. Okay. Um, and then roughly another 20, 25 pounds with the pedal drive and the steering system. So this can all pack up and basically fit in any kind of car. Correct, we okay. have it all packed up. The main Lono packs up into like a suitcase style travel case that you can actually fly with. Oh, nice, okay. And then you'll just have the pedal drive unit and a couple accessories and we provide a bag for that that you can stick all the accessories in. Very cool. All right, what else we got on this boat? Um, what's new for this year on the Lono is we also added a seat. Part of the reason that we added the seat was to have the pedal drive because everybody's legs are a little different. Right. This way you can adjust the seat forward and, and back and fit basically all the users that you're gonna do. Very um, nice. We've also added a steering rudder system. Um, and what's unique that we did this year is we actually put a rudder system on both sides. So whether you cast right or you cast left, you still have the ability to steer your boat. And how, how hard is it to kind of move it from the right to the left? It is literally take a few Velcro straps off and slide okay. this off. Okay, and you swap it right to the swap other side. Swap it right to the other okay. side and just re-Velcro it back on. So. That's pretty awesome. So no yeah. need for like drills and, and no all that kind of stuff. No need for drills on. or anything okay. like that. Sweet, very cool. That's very nice. Um, this we, looks like it's ready for something back here. Oh, it looks that's, like it's... that's where the fun is. <laughs> so all of our Lonos have, have always had this, this port in the back and basically this is for your cooler. So you can stash your cooler back here. I you see one right over here. I'm gonna go yeah, grab it. Yeah, you wanna it. grab one? Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Boom. Nice. So you got quick access. You can also put it as a bait bucket or something like that. It kind of okay. fits. Very universal fitting, but it does definitely does fit our five gallon cooler. Very cool. Um, and then the rear rudder system, you can see back here, this is a kick up fin system. So if you hit rocks or debris, it kicks up and kicks down. And then when you wanna go into a storage mode, you basically just flip it up here and you're ready to go. And it looks like we might be ready for maybe a power pole or something? We do have a micro power pole. Okay, very cool. Um, what's also nice too is because this is a convertible hybrid unit, you can take this top deck off and we have another micro power pole down here. So if you okay. literally want to do stand up paddleboard and fish in the shallows, you could pull this whole top deck off and have a real sleek, very lightweight watercraft. Oh, very cool. So it's kind of like you can almost make whatever it is for the day. So if you just want to go for an easy day in the water, you can not have all this stuff kind of pop it off, take exactly. even the rudder system off take if the, you want. Take the different pieces okay. and parts off and, and just use the things that you want. If you uh, want to keep the rudder system on, we do have a bungee tie down on the mount. Okay. So you can actually keep the rudder system on and still do the pedal drive. Nice, very nice. And I notice uh, also, this is pretty sweet. We've got the rod holders back here in different directions yep, and mounted. Yeah, four rod so holders. Yep. Very nice. And these now have the new slide in racks. I don't know if you guys saw these things before, but we have a new slide in, a slide -in system where the racks actually just okay. slide right in. Yep, yep, yep. So easy. So getting out of the box and or getting out of the bag and sticking it on the water goes really, really quick. Very nice, very nice. Well, Aaron, I really appreciate the run through, but man, I want to get this on the water and see what it does. Is that cool? Sounds good. Let's right, get you out there. You, All right, so we're on the boat Lono. Got Ty over here, my man Ty Sutherland, Alec over here. We're out here trying to film content, just being bombarded by all these YouTubers. All right, let's get to work. So right now we have the rudder set up on the right hand side, but as you said, you can put it on the left here, which I would most likely put it on the left. Now, I've normally never been a fan of these bicycle style where you kind of go like this, but man, this seat that I'm sitting on is so stinking comfy. I mean, this thing is comfortable that uh, I'm kind of just like leaning back here and just pedaling, man. 
So let's talk about how this thing turns. You guys know me, I like fishing these edges over here and I like to creep up and kind of just fish. So I'm just kind of trying to see just how well this thing hugs the shore. You can kind of control it. It's pretty good. So one of these last minute turns that you have to make all the time, perfect. Kind of cutting through, fishing, fishing, fishing. Cut it, cut it, cut it. All right, let's go for a full turn. All right, so it's not a barge. It's, it's not really a, it's not a barge to turn, man. I mean, that thing turned pretty well. You just kind of turn and give it some speed and you're good to go. Now let's see how this reverse works. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. All right, let's reverse it up. All right, so that, oh, there's a fish back there. Whoo. All right, so the reverse, you know, it works. Yeah, works just as expected. We're gonna go for it. All right, we are moving. This thing is pretty fast. All right, next we're gonna see just how stable this thing is. As stable as it can be, of course. It's nice and wide. Yeah, sight casting. You know how it is. Boom, boom. Throw your pitches. Get back down. Go chase those fish. Back up from the bank. So my closing thoughts on this boat right here, I did want to make a correction. In the video, they said it weighed 75 pounds. Well, it actually doesn't. Um, I was talking to the guys, it's 45 pounds. So unloaded in the little suitcase thing that you can fly with or throw in the back of your car, you're looking at 45 pounds. Now that's minus the pedal drive itself. So I can see myself using this thing. Um, it's pretty comfortable the way the seat is. You can have full adjustable range right here to do, you know, get it perfect just how you like it. The pedal drive seems to be holding up pretty well. Of course, I haven't put it through its paces. I haven't hit bottom. I haven't done any of those things. So I can't necessarily speak to the durability of the pedal drive. But what I can speak to is this thing's pretty fast, especially for an inflatable. This thing can rock and roll and get you to where you need to go. And it can fit in the back of a little car. So man, I'm thinking about getting myself one of these and actually putting it through its paces and uh, give you guys a real on the water review while catching some fish and see how that all pans out. All right guys, I'm gonna turn this camera around, dock it, and we're on to the next one. Thanks for watching. All right, the last test. Let's see how this thing docks. Nice control, there we go. Sweet.